<laughs> How about you? We use a lot of equipment to maintain the property here at the farm. Even if you don't have a farm or you don't have all the equipment that we have here on our farm, you can simulate that you do with Farming Simulator 23. Farming Simulator 23 lets you take control of your own farm in a realistic open world setting where you can build an agricultural empire. It's available now on the Nintendo Switch which you can pick up at any major retailer. Amazon, Walmart, Target, GameStop, or Best Buy. A couple of new features coming to Farming Simulator 23. Two brand new open world maps. Farming Simulator 23 creates a portable, family-friendly way to play. You can now harvest grapes, olives, offering more farming variety, and a total of 14 crops to work. The game has more than 130 authentic vehicles and tools from real brands like John Deere, New Holland, and Valtra. Players will develop knowledge and skills of agricultural machine operations, animal husbandry, forestry, and more. Players can experience their harvest come full circle, allowing the option to produce and sell profitable goods. Thanks to Farming Simulator 23 for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get out there and dig that pond. <laughs> you old lazy dog. I got my morning drink, my cameras. Everything's loaded. Let's go do some forestry mulching. We'll be taking the Bobcat T250, the Bombalite MS548. I'm going to really pay attention to what I'm doing as far as different types of material that I'm cutting. You've seen a couple videos, or maybe you have. If you haven't, go check out the other videos. People made a comment about this being loose. Yeah, I probably need to. I'll tighten that down right quick. But you need some flexibility. But this machine, it's an entry-level forestry mulcher. It's for people that are going to do it every now and again. You're not going to, you know, if you have a hardscape business, a landscape business, and you've got a client that wants to do uh, a small area, then this is a good machine for you. If you have a business where you're mulching around ponds and doing site work and stuff, you're going to need like the 900 series and stuff. This is up to like 33 gallons per minute flow, something like that. And I haven't put a hydraulic flow gauge on my machine, so I'm not sure. I've got high flow on it, but I'd like to check it one day just to see how much I'm actually putting out. That would probably be a pretty interesting, you know, thing to find out. But anyway, so we're going to go, we're going to try to see some different strategies on, do we start high? Do we start at the ground? Do we go slower? Do we go faster? I'm going to try all that stuff today over at my friend's house, get that done. Because, I am I mean, I'd like to learn it so that it's efficient. You've seen me in a couple of videos where I've gotten out and I've had to clear the jam up. It does not reverse. I've tried every combination. The machine does not reverse. Let me tighten this up just a little bit. I'll go find a, a cord of some sort to put that on. And, and that way it would be a little more, more safe. Less risk of a chance to actually... Uh, you know get snagged by a limb or something and then we'll get started i found an old velcro strap let's put that there so i'll just keep an eye on that so let's take off uh she's only 20 minutes away so it's not too too much of a drive to get there beautiful day this morning nice and cool shouldn't be too much of a an issue so let's let's take off here so I'll unload and we will get going
a little bit done here. I'm going to leave these, like this big chunks here. I know you're supposed to dress it up some, but he's going to actually throw those in the chipper. So I'm not going to worry about those. I'm just getting all the underbrush cut. You can see how much better the Bombalite MS-548 works when there's not a lot of what we call yopons and vines and all that. This hardwood stuff and this, you know, this two inch stuff, man, it's eating right through it. It's awesome. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to learn as I go, but I think that, you know, in another video or two, I'll be better than John over Epstick Brush Control. <laughs> I'm totally joking. Anyway, so we'll, we'll knock down this. We're gonna go on that big pine. We're gonna go in between that pine and there's a couple trees laid down in there. So we're gonna clean another strip out along parallel with this uh, tree that's rotten and fell on the ground here. All right, let's keep working. The machine is running great. Temperature's good, fuel's good. Life is good. All right, back to work we go. I think I may have got popped by a yellow jacket standing out there. My leg's itching. You gotta be careful with those ground, those yellow jackets have built a nest in the ground. You gotta be careful of that when you jump out of here.
Watch that stump when I lower it down. It flexes and real soft in the ground. See that? That's what that's what gets sucked up in there. Jams your jams your uh, your drum. I'll just rip that whole stump out of there. All right, this is what we got done. Uh, he's actually got a wood chipper that he's gonna throw the big stuff in. Uh, so we were just kind of getting the underbrush down. You know, when, you, when you're working for buddies, he's like, ah, just leave it, you know, we'll take care of it and all that stuff. So we'll get the big stuff that they can't get. This this long stick right here, it'll go in the chipper. He's actually, well, I thought, I thought he had it running, but he don't. You can see the Kubota right there. Maybe I need to get it because he's using a Kubota, not a TYM. <laughs> Anyway, but all this stuff he can um, he can bush hog and uh, these timbers that have fell, he'll cut those up. And I told him, I said, once you get the ones that are laying on the ground, the big ones that are laying on the ground, I'll come back and I'll get all this undergrowth over there. So we've only got another, I don't know, 50 feet to go, something like that. But I can't get in there. Uh, you can't. You might not be able to see it on the screen, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six uh fallen trees like this big oak here and this pine i can crawl over them humpty dumpty them or whatever but he can just get them chop them up get them out of the way and then i can come in here this uh this tree right here might be a little dangerous to get a little too big for my machine but we'll come back and get the rest of his stuff for it but now he can he can bring a box blade in here land plane in here whatever he wants to do and get all this done nice and smooth that big old tree has to come out of the way I've already pushed it with a skid steer so he can get it with his tractor probably. The Bama Light MS-548 does great in hardwood type stuff. Uh, again, go to BamaLight.com and find a dealer near you if you're looking for an entry level uh, weekend warrior type forestry mulcher. When you get into roots that are like soft in the ground or whatever, that really um, that really stinks because it'll suck that stump up in the, into the machine and it's just too big of a chunk to try to uh rotated the force ain't the force just ain't enough uh but we got stuck twice today or jammed up twice today uh out of i've been here i got here at eight i think it's ten so two hours two hours worth of work got out twice so you know in the right conditions the mulcher is great i'm learning as i go i, I tried to i was like man this is awesome when you could just go up to it eat it and leave you know instead of having to try to uh, dance around it if it's a vine or a rubbery type 
uh, tree because then that's no fun, you know. So, anyway, it was a fun day this morning. We'll get the skister loaded back up and get back to the house. I appreciate you guys watching. Watch some more of our forestry mulching videos. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Appreciate you guys. Take care. God bless. Hey, thanks Farming Simulator 23 for sponsoring today's video. You can pick this up at all the stores, Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop, Walmart. Links are in the description. Take care.